this slide we will discuss a few examples uh, so that we can have a better understanding on the uh, compressible fluid flow at high velocity uh, before we go for some practice uh, let's make a summary of what we have learned so far uh, we know that uh, in this uh, chapter we will assume the behavior of gas following the ideal gas so here are the summary of the uh, uh, equation of states and then the, re the, the relationship between CV uh, to the uh, universal gas constant uh, and the molar mass of the of the uh, gas uh, and also the CP uh, to the uh, um, specific uh, heat ratios uh, and uh, the molar mass of the of the gas we uh, we have also discussed about the definition of speed of sound and use the isentropic uh, change uh, equation to derive the speed of sound and then uh, other than that uh, we also have a list of uh, table here to find out the value of k a specific heat ratio for different type of gases um, I will still uh, show you uh, this table uh, but uh, toward the end of the videos uh, I will no longer uh, no longer include the tables okay uh, this is a basic example uh, the question is what is the speed of sound in air at 20 degrees Celsius so this is a straightforward problem uh, but uh, it, uh, based on the equation we know that we will need some of the parameters okay when the temperature is known uh, then we can use the term uh, the true uh, remember there are two types of a speed of sound uh, equation so now we use this, the, the second one that involves only the temperature so r is given uh, toward the lecture i always use the constant value of r here and then mass is in the unit of kilogram per mole uh, k value we get we get it from the previous table and temperature in the equation is the in, uh, 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 under unit of kelvin so easy so you can just uh, include all of these uh, values in the equation you find out a uh, speed of sound of 343 meter per second okay uh, I reiterate back here, may, maybe some of you get confused, uh, that actually uh, in this lecture, I use um, a constant R values. Uh, in another books or another lecture might be, they will use a different term of R, which is a specific ideal gas constant, which then involve the uh, molecular mass. So, uh, be consistent uh, here uh, I use the universal gas constant meaning that you need to find out the molecular mass of the gas you are dealing with so uh, here I, I I try to illustrate what is the impact of R so uh, in this equation the R, uh, R square root of R is actually equal to 91.2 meter per second and this is the additional units uh, so it's the same uh, in this example i just want to show you uh, how uh, this affect uh, the, uh, how how we can uh, uh, get the unit of meter per second from the from the r square root of r here uh, i here I want to remind you again that R always constant and then the unit of M is in kilogram per mole. An, an airplane is cru cruising at a speed of 800 km per hour at altitude where the air temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. Calculate the match number. Okay, uh, this is easy. So the first thing we do is we try to get the uh, information about the gas air here. In this case, air uh, K, K value is 1.4. We get R is always constant, remember, uh, 8.314 Joule per mole Kelvin. And M is, this is an average molecular weight of air, 29. Remember, the unit must be kilogram per mole. So it's 29 times 10 power minus 3. Uh, and the temperature is given there so based on this 
non parameter we actually able to already calculate the c and then uh, we apply the definition of mesh number we find out mesh number of 0 0.67 uh, in another example we have an an aeroplane travel at mesh number of 1.5 if the density and the pressure of the air is 1.112 kg per cubic meter and 89.89 kilopascal respectively calculate the actual velocity of the plane in kilometer per hour also it's very simple i think this is a straightforward equation so from first of all we try to uh, collect all of the available information in the problem so we give a density given pressure given mesh number and for air remember the k value is 1.4 so we can then put all of the term in the equation uh, for the speed of sound we find out uh, finally the velocity is 1817 km per hour uh, you can use the other equation so in this example i will show you that both equation is applicable if you can calculate it with one you can actually calculate it with another one so uh, also here we have uh, the density value the pressure the mesh number you can get k value from the table and we know that the average uh, molar mass of the air is 29 uh, gram per mole so then to be able to use the other term uh, the other equation for c you need the temperature so the temperature based on this information you can find find out using uh, uh, ideal of state equation we find out that the temperature at this condition is 282 kelvin and we use this value in this equation to find out uh, the same uh, final uh, answer